Yo. It is June 11th, 2023, just a few minutes after midnight. And there is a storm somewhat headed in our direction. So it looks like right as it's getting to us, it's fading out, but we might see something as I've seen a number of flashes of lightning thus far. see this line was pretty intense when it I suppose was just uh, in the northern areas of greater Houston or just past those northern areas and I believe we'll still see some portion If this ends up being worthwhile, it's lightning lab number five. So, uh, the camera is facing more east, the iPhone is, but the GoPro is facing I guess uh, like south and west and east like you have a I mean it's a pretty large field of view so um, you'll probably be able to see the flashes on that before anything else and then as whatever passes over, likely this camera will do a better job. That was my right knee, that was like, in the area that like that pop felt good. That's what I'm trying to get it. It's in the area that I'm always trying to work. I just got home from a Houston Dynamo game. They played LAFC. Houston won four nothing.
Ben Olsen has them playing well for the first time in uh, <laughs> years. Bright, interesting looking flash. Again, north or west, so don't really have advantage on it. Maybe in the GoPro. Um, I didn't say we because, I mean, I, 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 su I support the players and I support the idea of a team in Houston, but I'm still pretty jaded and um, disappointed that the Dynamo organization did some deceptive activity several years ago and lied to my parents about something and it caused a huge problem with my family and I ended up being like kicked out of the house <laughs> like a anyway it's a big difficult situation I lived out of my car for a while but and the thing that ended up saving me was that I had bought crypto in 20 like a good amount of ethereum in 2015 or 16 and it was like 90 cents so that saved me but um it's really disappointing because it's a team that I've followed like since their inception here in Houston and um, basically they were putting on dynamo trials, which are just tryouts that nobody ever made the team. And like, it really didn't matter how good you were, how much you showed off. Like they weren't really looking for players from there. And that was one of the things that we brought up about it that was deceptive because even people internally, um, like their employees from several employees had said, it's it's just a marketing thing which duh but you know that's pretty pathetic that a team is doing that because essentially you know they're charging 150 dollars for something that you didn't actually have any benefit uh, like any chance of making anything and um then really the way they would make money from it is they sold the like sponsorship rights to it so it was the dynamo tryouts for presented by whatever company paid them a good amount of money and when we brought up that it was a like you know I was working for my mom as a as her legal assistant at the time and when we you know we took it to them on legal letterhead one of their employees lied and said like slanderous stuff about me that uh, ended up you know disrupting the relationship with between my parents and I and just it, it it was when all this Stephanie Justin stuff was also going on where it was like really obvious like the veil was lifted on whatever was going on with uh, Metal Gear Solid and Hideo Kojima and Stephanie Justin where it's like seemingly Stephanie Justin was put into Metal Gear Solid the Phantom Pain like as a some kind of I don't know, the best way I could describe it is like a psyop but you know I don't <laughs> Like, I don't really, it, it was just something I think specifically created to like disturb and like tear down my mental health and like attack at me specifically. And I think I have the art pre, like pre Metal Gear Solid Phantom whatever that <laughs> very heavily Metal Gear related, uh, like I used a lot of stuff from that and then there's very clearly, you know, it just hints at it heavily. It's like an artistic way. I mean, cutting up things from different, uh, you know, music, movies, comedians. It's the Yo X1, Yo X2, and Yo X3 mixes, if you're wondering. But you can tell in one of them that it, it even starts with, it's quiet too quiet and you know they're all pretty metal gear themed and like you know there's the whole like part that's cut out where 
the Jack and Rose thing, and Rose is like, I lied to you, but I wanted to be caught. And it's, you know, anyway, it just like, I feel like whatever, for whatever reason that they're looking at me, I mean, I would suppose that the lightning stuff, uh, you know, I think people were aware of it a while ago, but, and they've been trying to prevent it, but <laughs> anyway, they had to do something pretty terrible, like put a character in a video game in order to like psychosexually attack me and like you know disturb my mental health and stuff it seems like a really terrible thing i keep saying hideo kojima do you want to comment on this like stephanie Justin is presented like her her whole image is which seemed to start like right around you know her social media presence seemed to start right around the time that metal gear solid v phantom pain was announced and it seems like the whole thing was to present a, like, chaste-looking, attractive young model who is, like, you know, desirable, has a lot of traits that I might like, and then she ends up being, like, I don't know, just some toy to whatever group of men uh, or women, or men and women, that wanted to, like, I mean, I think it's abuse, <laughs> like, abuse and mentally disturb and attack me, attack my mental health, attack my spiritual health, and whatever, and it's a terrible thing, and I also think it's probably pretty connected to that food sacrifice to idols thing from the seven churches of <laughs> Asia in the book of Revelation, and so uh, it ended up seemingly connecting that and manifesting that kind of thing in real life, because uh, Quiet is the partner of Venom Snake or Ahab, and like, you know who else is that? Jezebel. Jezebel is the partner of Ahab. And, um, I mean, again, it's like an artistic way where people can, like, float these ideas, but it's plausibly deniable and, you know, whatever. But it's just, I mean, at some point I think the lightning stuff is going to prove out and it's going to be like, oh, yeah, they clearly had the intent to hurt me. And, well, the people here in Houston really didn't react to it well because I think they were watching anyway on whatever kind of weird Truman Show thing my reality is but you know I don't know not only did they not help but they made it worse and lied on me some more and but whatever not everybody here but it does seem weird that like nobody's willing to just like hey yeah this is clearly happening and like people have attacked you in a way that is really wrong and, like, seemingly, you know, after that, again, it seems like celebrities got in on it, too. Like, more celebrities. And I think the whole Stephanie Justin thing is, like, hinting at Alessandra Ambrosia. Like, she literally does a thing, uh, a movie afterwards called Becoming Alessandra. And just like, I, uh, or Alessandra and the Fitter. I'm sorry. And uh, it's not like the, it's the most common name. But also, you know, the... Um, just all the all the stuff she's in is like art to throw at me it seems like it's like again you, people signaling at me in images and they can just pretend like plausibly deniable that it's not happening and yet at a certain point like you know i've said in hyperbole when i pull lightning from the sky i mean i, I maybe it could happen i don't i don't put it past the reality if yahweh is helping me but um I mean, you, you can already see definite, like, it's not normal that I do a stretch or, like, do something like this and you see lightning, you know what I mean? It's not, like, something just anybody seems to do, though, again, I don't think it was, like, out of the grasp of anybody or everybody. It's just I'm the person who believes in Yahweh and, like, is acknowledging the reality of the seven churches of Asia and Revelation is like an if-then conditional statements list. And if you meet the if-then conditional statements, you get the gifts or prizes. And I, I think I'm going to get those gifts and prizes because it seems like I actually have these things manifest in my reality as I've kind of been explaining. And so, um, you know, there's, I, there's probably more elements to it, but this is the gist of it. And it's just, uh, you know, it's still not easy dealing with all this stuff. Like, I feel like I'm in some kind of weird Truman show where I'm being, like, like, 
harassed by celebrities like why is why is selena gomez like going to i saw a barstool sports thing where uh like a tweet that they put out where she goes to like some random pickup soccer game and like is like shouting i'm single and uh like i'm high maintenance okay it's like my whole thing is well then come on selena gomez speak out about whatever this is or just like you know then there's another clear example with you know who else Haley bieber seemingly is also doing stuff like that and i mean there's other celebrities but and it's like okay why would <laughs> why would she you know people don't do stuff for no reason when they have like very large images to protect like that because their image is their money and so everything they do is thought out it's not like unless it's subconsciously done or something but you know for the most part they have people that literally like <laughs> like manage their brand so if something like that seems like just a random thing it's it's not right and so the whole point is that there's a person here in houston that plays soccer like literally has a soccer youtube channel and is like eh, it looks like i'm pretty connected to the lightning and all sorts of other stuff to me and if you're watching my private photo gallery on my phone uh which it seems like this is the part where it's like am i being like what is going on where it seems like people are directly responding to things in my private like photo gallery on my phone which should be private right um you know what's going on around me that that's that's the case but Okay, so before I get back into this, the common themes are when I talk, when I do this kind of kneeling lunge thing and, you know, get into the muscle groups associated with it or whatever, micro actions, or when I'm standing and doing this kind of thing, digging in and supporting all my weight through this leg and through certain muscle groups, or, you know, those are the three most common things that you see some kind of lightning interaction, is that lightning? But when I do... Really, it's when I do a lot of motions, uh, like different things, but there are certain things that just seem to more commonly bring it out. Those are some of them. That kind of thing, like a back bend, or I don't know, all sorts of things. Seemingly, it's like I think part of it is it seems to just be associated with what I'm doing, but certain things are like I have a more a greater chance to show a reoccurring pattern or something that's reproducible by doing certain specific actions but as i've said i think it's the reason that you see some kind of interaction is it's that it's yahweh doing this and uh you know he's he can direct everything around me and what i'm doing and like he's slowly unveiling uh, you know, the reality that, yes, there, the seven churches of Asia is an active thing in the book of Revelation, 
and that seemingly I'm the one that is going to or is seated on the throne with Jesus and Yahweh. Uh, as it says, you know, the one who conquers at the church of Laodicea and the, all six churches ahead of it. And so, you know, that this is the slow unveiling process associated with, you know, who that person would be. So, back to talking about the Nicolaitans or whoever this group, like, whatever, I mean, it feels like that's what the celebrities are, like, some group of people that are, like, why are they, why are they doing this? Like, I don't have anything against Selena Gomez, she's cute, and, you know, Haley Buber, I mean, she's cute, but, um, like, it appears like both of them are, like, trying to make points at me, and it's like, what, you know, along with other people, but those are just, and it's, like, plausibly deniable, but if you're me, it's pretty, like, it's obvious, I mean, and I would say, this is why the lightning thing, because it's, like, again, the lightning seems to interact with, you know, and be, like, yeah, no, duh, like, here, let me, <laughs> let me, uh, help show that Matt is being so honest that, <laughs> like, you can literally see, uh, you know, the lightning seemingly calling people out on their bullshit. So, uh, anyway, I don't really have a problem with them other than they seem to be, like, specifically trying to antagonize me, along with other celebrities. Alexander Ambrosio, like, I mean, it just seems like she's part of that thing. I mean, is she Jezebel, or is that someone else? I'd like her to just be, I don't know, wife, lover, girlfriend, daughter, mommy, whatever weird, like, whatever weird thing that is not where she's Jezebel and harassing me, but it just doesn't seem, uh, to be going in that direction, so, uh, bummer. Um... <laughs> And, you know, again, I would be like, you know, it does sound grandiose, right? But I don't think it's a, an illusion and, a, you know, part of the whole lightning thing that I'm attempting to prove out here is like, yeah, Yahweh actually exists and is like, I'm pretty sure I'm the guy on the throne of Yahweh. I'm the only person I hear talking about it. The guy on the throne of Jesus with Jesus. And... <laughs> Uh, it looks like he's gonna cause problems for people until, like, someone, uh, you know, ends this silly game. And, um, you know, all these people that I've named seemingly are watching and could have ended it at any point, and yet it also seems to be the thing that's like, you know, once we end it, we can go to that place that's a singularity, the kingdom of heaven, where it's like, you know, past time and whatever, and People live forever, and it's a party into eternity, right? And just, like, everything's fixed and everything's better. 
and uh, all the ills of the world are gone. Sounds great to me, um, but you know, I think people are being paid off or like given social, uh, you know, they're given social credit or whatever uh, for like continuing to antagonize me and like try to tear me down and whatever. Just seems like it. I guess I could be wrong, uh, but doesn't look like it. <laughs> Hopefully, Yahweh gives us a pretty incredible show. You know, I think even if the lightning isn't, like, a ton numerically, like, first of all, you're welcome to the people around. Uh, though, probably, with the whole, like, multiple things being struck by lightning here in Houston recently, you could just go crazy, you know what I'm saying? And, like, cause problems for all sorts of people, but he's being long patient and long-suffering or you know i'm being those things and so i guess he's being like working slowly to show like okay at a certain point you can just cause way more problems way more obviously but it's like a slow process until people kind of hey yeah probably matt wilkins this guy who meets the conditions to sit on the throne of yahweh from the bible and like you know i haven't been in anything but you know christians you should inst like we should already be allies right but uh <laughs> like um you know, I'm, like, it was, like, I even brought this up in the previous video, like, I, I haven't done anything that I would think other than be, like, a kind, good person, other than when my, when I was attacked, or initially by Stephanie Joosten, whatever that whole situation is, um, but, you know, I feel like I've been pretty, like, reasonable and kind and, like, whatever to all sorts of groups, LGBTQ and everything else after like I'm I'm more concerned with what's going on around me and like fixing the problem that I'm talking about and like, honestly like I've said it's pretty annoying to me that Christians are focused on uh like whatever other people are doing instead of like hey you need to create a system where if I want a virgin wife and I'm a Christian male if I can't find that that's a problem uh it's like one of those things that would prevent you know, faith from being, like, it just makes it harder to believe if, if, uh, you know, your wife has fucked somebody else before you, that's, like, you know, difficult to think about, so welcome to my reality all the time. Welcome to why I think Yahweh is working with me on this, because, you know, LGBTQ, if you helped me fix this problem uh and called uh some hypocrite christians out or you know the christians if you actually helped me on this problem instead of focusing on them it probably you'd see less issues between all sorts of groups of people it just seems to be the thing of the day that whatever is going on instead of like hey can can y'all just help me fix this problem like i do think again that there's a reason that like i think the whole Jesus on Mount Zion with 144,000 virgins or, you know, the one like a son of man. I think Jesus is saying the whole point of the seven churches thing is I was attacked in my sexuality. Like, I think Stephanie Houston was just like a, some sleazy girl that they made to look chaste and then were just doing all sorts of, you know, whatever. I mean, she, like, she's a porn star behind the scenes and the whole thing is to, like, lift a curtain on that and then so Yahweh caught them the other way around and it's oh, it looks like I'm going to be on the throne of Yahweh. 144,000 virgins and maybe a harem of whoever else, everybody. Like, if I'm Yahweh on the throne, is anything awfulness to me? I mean, I guess what Yahweh would or wouldn't do. I mean, you probably wouldn't be like Caligula, but you'd probably be uh, kind and like, you know, make things enjoyable. But <laughs> uh, this whole...
this whole like thing where it's like hey it's also in capitalism like look like sex is already for sale it's just like how much time and effort and, or whatever that people are willing to put in or you know whatever contractually that people do these days you know it might be you go to a you go on a date and he buys your drink and you're like i'll sleep with him or it's like you've already decided but like well would, would he buy you a drink or would he do this or that for you and it's like because after you know based on our society's situation it's like I mean, there's no reason not to just use sex as a transactional thing instead of, like, uh, tie it to something intimately. Tie it to someone intimately. And, like, hypothetically, probably, uh... Whatever... Like, you can see the supernatural stuff that seems to go on around me. Uh, and just, like, the pretty extraordinary stuff, I think. And... He does have a sense of humor, yeah. And so, like, you know, here. Like, I think probably he massively... But, it, like, it seems like developing, like, powers of deity. Like, why... Those who are attached to me would probably be just as... It, filled with the Holy Spirit. Does that make sense? Like, they're filled with the Spirit of Yahweh. Because Yahweh is doing all this. And, you know, I guess if I'm working with him, filled with the Spirit, believing this, this son, well then, yeah. Probably get to sit on the throne with him. And, um... Anyway. I would like a wife or multiple, you know, like a whole harem of virgins or whatever, yeah, that'd be great, uh, to, like, make up for, like, the psychological, spiritual, somewhat physical, like, uh, at times, abuse, psychosexual, you know, I think this is super rapey, what they've done, like, the whole, it's, I think it's, made more palatable when it's described as eating food sacrificed to idols but I think the idea is that like some celebrity or some person pretending to be a deity <laughs> is like filled with the spirit of like some other deity or something some lesser deity also known as a diamond or a demon but it's just anything that's a lesser spiritual entity uh, than Yahweh that's what a, technically a demon is it's not a little red guy um <laughs> And, you know, they basically, like, my guess was took Stephanie Justin's virginity or, like, made, you know, some porn of her or, like, you know, whatever. And the whole point is to just, like, beat me down. I mean, they even, like, stripped her naked on in pictures and, like, had her comment, I am what I am, I do what I do. Well, you know, the idea is that they're mocking Yahweh, whose name means I am that I am. And like, again, why is this coming out of Japan? Is this some kind of dragon? Well, the dragon's fucked. Like, it's dead. And like, this is only going to get more obvious. And whoever, like, what happened in the darkness is going to be lit up. Right? You get it? I mean, maybe struck by lightning itself. But, <laughs> um, and then, you know, I think the whole thing with Alessandro Ambrosio is like, the next step is like her and then her using her daughter in that same way as I just described Stephanie Justin, right? So, Anja Ambrosio, the whole idea is to, like, sacrifice her to idols or something. Seems like it. If I'm wrong, I mean, how about you engage me because you're clearly trying to hold some kind of dialogue in silence using picture communication instead of speaking about things like face-to-face -face or being like kind as most of these celebrities want to pretend they are but they're based on my experience some of the worst people that exist but I can't get anybody to seemingly speak for my interests so you know I think what I'm saying is pretty agreeable right um and it probably it makes sense of what I'm talking about with all this 
or what you know the Bible talks about with the seven churches thing. When I'm explaining it like this, it makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah, the food sacrifice to idols thing is not talking about food. It's talking about sexuality. And, like, you go back in the Old Testament that's supported by, I don't know, read the Song of Solomon. When they're talking about eating food and that, they're definitely talking about sex. It's not. <laughs> it's not food. I mean, it is food. And give me food. I'm hungry. Uh, all kinds from everywhere. Uh, you know, I think Jesus deserves it, and he seems to be passing along to me. And it says he'll come in and eat with me, and I'm hungry. Yeah. Alessandra Ambrosio, if you're not Jezebel, you're welcome too. In fact, you're the queen. But if you are Jezebel, well then, you're still the queen Jezebel, but, you know, it's just really a bad situation for you. But, you know, are you a terrible, evil, unkind human being, or are you, like, a decent person? I, <laughs> the opposite of that? Well, probably that would mean just reach out ASAP, whatever you know it's all up to you you have free will to be a terrible person so that's i understand why yahweh gives people free will i just don't like being abused by people's free will it sucks and you know it feels like uh alessandro ambrosio's friend fernando Mota, and even isabel gretman it's like why is all it seems like uh they're doing similar things with uh like what with alessandra i mean in the same way that Alessandra did with Andra, and it's just like, maybe, you know, maybe the whole point of the, what it talks about with Jezebel is she's creating a bad example and, like, making abuse, like a psychosexual abuse of one specific person or just any people, like, common. And, like, it's hard to really break this down in one of these lightning labs, but, um, like, making that the norm seems pretty terrible to me, so... That would make sense of why, you know, Jezebel is dealt with like she is. It says Yahweh does it, and it says that, you know, the person who's conquering at the church is seemingly rebuked for having to deal with her or for forgiving her or something, which... Anyway. Yeah. And some interesting lightning, though, tonight. I mean... <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even think the line of storms fit. I think it might just be right above us right now. And it's starting to rain here. Um, speaking of people in Houston, like, uh, I was watching that. Just, by the way, I'm going to say this in a lot of these videos until it gets fixed, but the KHOU 11 storm tracking thing that was on earlier that's normally on um well i clicked it and kim castro was talking actually before that it was tim pandages but then hey look you're welcome tim uh <laughs> and kim tim and kim um <laughs> yeah uh you know they put their Channel 11 puts their stuff on YouTube, and since I'm on U YouTube, and like, I just click on it because it's, you know, you go as a news channel, you go to where the people are, and I'm on YouTube, so. Um, anyway, Yahweh, uh, it still has this issue on the stream where whenever there's like, this was more apparent when Kim was there because... So as Kim Castro is standing in front of the, like, screen that has the the animation going, when the animation is there and there's a lot of lightning strikes and there's a lot of stuff going on on the screen, it's too much information for whatever the computer that's streaming the thing is, the bitrate is too low. And so everything gets really blurry, including Kim Castro. And I think Kim Castro is very attractive. She's a hottie. And I want to look at Kim Castro, right? Uh, and so... And, you know, Tim, he's pretty handsome, too, but this is more for Kim. <laughs> uh, I know it, it's, like, Pride Month or whatever, but, you know, more into Kim than Tim. But handsome dude. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, and Kim is attractive. I'm, like, I'm not kidding. Uh, but when it 
when it's doing its animation, you can't even see her. She's like blurred out. It's like completely pixelated, right? Channel 11, would you please fix this? I can't say this in every video, though. It's like, I feel like there's a bit of like impulse to get this fixed on my end. And it's like, there's no way someone from Channel 11 ain't seeing this now or something. Like, I think people are just pretending that they aren't seeing whatever, but can y'all fix this? I want to see Kim Castro. She's super hot, so, like, you know, let me let me see her. She's all blurry, right? Is that, like, a real... That's, like, a real, uh, realistic reason as to why you should fix that is, like, it, you can't see your very attractive anchor people, right? So you got to fix it now, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Remember that one time I brought it up and I was laughing and there was just like a, like it almost sounded like an explosion, like thunder. It was like a flash and just bam. And <laughs> sounded like some of that indignant lightning. Um, I do enjoy these lightning labs because I get to like kind of talk and decompress in a way and like. I'm trying to articulate what's going on here as good as I can. It's just a lot, and sometimes it comes out as like, word vomit or whatever, you know what I mean? Just <laughs> like me getting out 30 concepts at one time, uh, but I'm, I'm working on it, so try to articulate this as well as I can. I think I've articulated pretty well, honestly. Um, You could hear me uh, breathe out and like exhale, right? But like the thought that I was about to like literally just about to say was, this is about the time where I'd be like, maybe I should start talking now. And then <laughs> lightning. <laughs> That's what I mean when I'm like, <laughs> like obviously Yahweh knew that. Um, <laughs> that, uh, I wouldn't, like, I was about to, but that I didn't, and, like, I think that was just a little thing from him to me, to be like, yeah, gotcha. Um,
mean, some of it is like, you know, the stuff that I'm explaining, like with the Dynamo and with Stephanie Juice, it's like and seemingly being like harassed or antagonized by celebrities or some group of people watching my private, like all, you know, it feels like the Truman Show, but it could be a smaller subset of people and whatever. But, uh, you know, it's like disappointing that that's reality, right? I feel like kind of the point of having faith and, you know, what it talks about biblically is like Yahweh can fix it, right? And like, I really believe that he will. And like, I just have to keep having faith and um, believing in him. And, uh, you know, someone commented, someone, Roberto Tejon, commented, uh, something about, you know, the points that I'm making about a virgin Christian wife or, and, you know, all uh, other things are, like, agreeable, and, you know, I appreciated that. Again, I, feeling like whatever Truman Show thing just feels like, I mean, I don't know, is that a real person? I, I saw that, uh, you know, there's a person who also comments LTF Melanie, uh, and it's like, I'm, there's someone um, who I've met at one of these uh, raves that I go to, uh, and for like dubstep and, you know, EDM or whatever, uh, and he goes by Nemo underscore LTF, and I'm like, is this some kind of connection that it's just like, that, uh, is, it's probably an acronym that means something, is this supposed to communicate a point to me or something, I don't know, but, um, you know, kind of my point is like, okay, so like, wh where do I, what do I do if I, you know, what does someone do who's like, I would like a, well, at this point, to me, this is why I think the whole one like a son of man on Mount Zion with 144,000 virgins, it's like, I don't think I could just trust one woman at this point. I specifically have been attacked, and seemingly it's like part of the literal biblical narrative. It's like, if you are the person conquering at the seven churches, uh, that, you know, that's actually like part of the narrative. That is the narrative. And so, but that the way, the way it seems Jesus is saying it'll make it up is like a harem of 144,000 virgins plus, I don't know, Alessandro Bojo and other celebrities or whatever. I don't, just guessing, everyone like what what's off limits if we're on the throne of Yahweh but uh I guess probably Yahweh wouldn't uh do certain things right I even do think some of the stuff is like there's a there is a rebuke at the fourth church seemingly associated with that so um that being said like you know okay hypothetically someone sees this and is like willing to try to be like well, here's a virgin Christian wife. It's like, could that? Could I ever trust that? I mean, undergoing what I've done. trust 144,000 virgins because it's like literally an army of women who's like you know you're the first in it's like your conquest as the way that seemingly people are doing sexuality these days the, I think the point is for them to be like you know to support the one like a son of man on the throne or you know on Mount Zion and seemingly Jesus uh, you know passing it to the one that conquers at the seven churches as it says like it does he was like I'll come in and eat with you 
you know, 144,000 virgin buttholes to eat. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> eating booty. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, part of the uh, this whole thing regarding like virginity and all this stuff is it like forces people to like engage in reality that is just like like the way people do sexuality now is so stupid and, like it's like I mean it's like snake-like and transactional but it's like people want to live in a fantasy land where it's like oh well, let's get married it's like can you like what what I don't think you get what marriage is but uh <laughs> I even think that's when Jesus is talking to the woman at the well, and he's like, you've had this many wives, I mean, this many husbands, and the one that you're with now uh, is your husband or is not your husband, whatever. I, however, the, I don't want to butcher it and paraphrase I'm even doing a bad job paraphrasing it, so, but you you get it, like, uh, One thing about this storm too, by the way, is that the lightning isn't like constant. So if there if there's a thing that I do and then you see a thing, it's like less likely that you can just be like, well, it's a lightning storm. It's like, okay, yeah, kind of, yeah. This is a good example when it's like so spaced out like this and yet there are some, I, I think there've been some pretty, you know, cool examples of, of lightning in this and probably will be some more that like, you know, they seem to happen. It seems to be when I'm doing something right like there's that really crazy one earlier was I think I got into my thigh or hip on this kind of thing I'll see it again obviously when I go back over and timestamp it but Tim Castro, you're pretty attractive. You want to join my harem? <laughs> you know, I'm kind of into weather. <laughs> I mean, actually, I'm kind of into weather, right? Is a match made in heaven? Uh... <laughs> I don't know, maybe reach out and say, yo, what's up, Matt? <laughs> like, right? I mean, it's, I feel like this only gets more obvious from here. And like, I think people are going to feel terrible when it's like, we've had all the chance in the world to reach out and like fix an obvious wrong. And then none of them, none of them have done it. In fact, they've only seemingly sat there and antagonized me because they're trying to antagonize Yahweh I think and it's like look you're just being an abusive person they're like you aren't a good person in any instance uh if you're doing that kind of thing especially when you can see the stuff that seems to go on like I think it's a very at this point it's very strongly hinting at it and like I think at a certain point it's just like you know the revelation lift the veil on that this guy's the guy on the throne of Yahweh here in the city yeah. I A H. Yeah. It's Houston's airport code. Houston is yeah, right? You fly into Miami, it's M I A. You fly into Houston, you fly into yeah. Well, guess who lives in Houston? Yeah. Oh, it was probably the guy in the throne of Yahweh with the name written on it. Uh, probably that name being yeah.
well, definitely the conquering at the seven, their sixth church, right? But, uh, you know, just in terms of, uh, you know, you want to bring up Disney. Well, okay, I am Yoda. That's also, that is me, like actually Yoda. And, uh, Disney gave Yoda lightning powers, which, I mean, I think they probably had to do that, but uh, in order to try to deal with whatever front run, the fact that actual Yoda was going to have lightning powers, so if, they're, if someone's going to try to manipulate uh, whatever the concept of Yoda is, they're going to have to front run lightning powers, right? Oh, it's just the Force. No, it's Yahweh, right? It's Yah. <laughs> the God of the Bible. who is way kinder than most people believe, but he's also, like, you have to balance dealing with, like, rea like I can very clearly see, like, dealing with the world, you have to balance, I think, uh, severity and judgment, or, you know, like, strength, and or severity and judgment, and on one side, and on the other side, you gotta balance, like, ever-loving kindness and mercy, right? It's a, I think this is a Kabbalistic concept, but it's also just, okay, well, there are certain things within those concepts that are somewhat real, right? I mean, like, it just makes, it logics out, but I don't think it's the important thing that you're supposed to get from it. They're just Hebrew words and, like, some, some wisdom that you can gather from it, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's, like, the thing. But anyway, and definitely, you know, Yahweh is the highest, most high deity, not some deity called Ein Sof. But, uh, <laughs> you know, Yahweh is like, I think a lot of people think of Yahweh as like super vengeful, and people think of Jesus as like kind, right? And like, you have to have a balance because there is wrong. And you, if you're going to have a world with right, you have to get rid of that wrong, and you have to be, you have to judge it, right? And I think that's all why the whole judgmental deity thing. But you know, the out is that if you believe in Jesus and you're like living in that spirit, you believe in Yahweh, Jesus is Yahweh, and you're living in that spirit, then you're good. You have an out. I think, you know, one thing you can see from these videos is, like, with the kind of interaction that doesn't seem to happen with anybody else in the world that I could see, and, you know, seemingly is the type of thing that you would think of, like, uh, some kind of biblical prophet or, you know, Jesus or something, like, interacting in a similar way with storms or whatever to try to, like, make a point. Um, like this seems like a good way to get over certain points and explain things and like you know I can see a lot, of, a lot of there's like a lot of wolves trying to like in different churches like trying to misdirect things and it's like you know I would even say for like whatever different groups it's like that causes problems for like other groups like LGBTQ whatever it's like I think most genuine Christians aren't trying to like bother you know the alphabet soup of, <laughs> of the Rainbow Coalition. They're like, m you know, most genuine Christians are like seeking his kingdom first and his righteousness. Whose righteousness? Yahweh Sukhanu. Yahweh our righteousness. And that's the name of the righteous branch of David. And that's Jesus. And that's why Jesus is Yahweh. From the Old Testament. There you go. But anyway, so, uh,. My point here is, like, you know, these wolves have infiltrated the church, all sorts of all the churches, and, like, it's, like, problematic for all sorts of groups, because most of the people, again, that I think you're, like, with are, like, not actually Christian, because, like, actual Christians would be trying to deal with what I'm talking about, like, you know, fix this massive problem that's happened that I've seemingly been, been attacked in this way, and, like, you know, I don't know, the... 
who attacked me? It was the rainbow flag people. Kojima threw up a rainbow flag thing on his, uh, <laughs> on his uh, Kojima Productions thing. I mean, it is five months and I'm just kind of whatever. But the whole point is, I feel like there's a lot of people who are watching or like hinting that they're watching that could actually make some kind of difference, you know, be like a good, genuinely kind person or something and like engage this as it actually is happening and then like, just nobody is, which kind of sucks, honestly. But <sighs> holding out faith and hope that Yahweh will fix it, it's like we're despite nobody saying anything like he will like his will will happen regardless and like if i'm in line with that and seemingly the seven churches stuff is in line with that obviously it's literally written in the bible uh then i believe i'm good and even just what i'm saying about like christianity and virgin wives and like Christianity. To, I say this to any Christian group. Where where do you think the men are supposed to get like virgin wives? I mean, it, is are we is the whole thing to be a cucked Christian or something? Is that what you're trying to do? Like, because I I think most of our society is like cucked, which is if you're into that, okay, whatever. I just don't want to be forcibly cucked, right? And it seems like people are getting their rocks off trying to do that and that's what the whole like sacrifice to idols thing is and it's really rapey and like so basically the fact that there's like a a mechanism where some kind of corporate machine has created this stephanie Houston character and she's like some kind of weird cuckold rape device that was used to like psychologically abuse and torment me and is still being used in that way and seemingly like you know people like alessandra ambrosia look like she's aware of it and is either participating in it and has done the same thing with her daughter or you know what you know again I like or if that's not the case and it looks like you're watching maybe say something to me I'm the person that matters in this like if you want whatever it's like it doesn't matter what other people think about this situation engage me it's like you would another person you know where we talk things through again that would be the kind thing to do <laughs> and while Yahweh is all about kindness it does not seem like celebrities are all about kindness in fact it seems like the opposite which is kind of like a no duh situation but at a certain point, you become so hypocritical. It's like, why would people here, like, if this if this thing has happened with Stephanie Justin, right, and these people are doing this, why would people still render goods and services to you when you're, like, literally trying to tear down society using, like, cuckold rape fake women to, like, honeypot, seemingly specifically me, but I guess the point could be, you know, whoever else falls for it, too. But... <laughs> Seems pretty uh, fucked up in my opinion, but <sighs> you know, maybe call me old-fashioned. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it sounds super rapey to me. I mean, it seems super rapey to me. In fact, when I called it out. For that and I like exploded in anger in one of the videos from 2018 I did El Popo in Mexico explodes at the same time and like considering you see the lightning stuff that seems to go on with me the more this goes on the more it becomes obvious well the volcano is exploding when I'm doing stuff and I like you know in the old videos did it it's like at a certain point it's just I've proven it out and you're just denying reality if you're gonna which is when I think Yahweh really kicks it up because when, at that point, it's like, well, then he doesn't have to play within the rules. And uh, the only thing he's, he's playing within is it, the way the world is going to unfold is going to be what Revelation says. Which, if you think of the fact that Israel now exists again and, like, it looks like at some point 
in the pretty near future, a third temple is going to be built. <sighs> Doesn't look like we're that far off from that whole thing playing out, so... And that's, at that point, it's like, okay, we're, we're here. We're at, we're at Revelation, if that's what you're, uh... <laughs> if that's how it unfolds, which it looks like it, but... Eh. I'll say the lightning in this one, while there have been some instances that seem tied to the right side of the body stuff, um, I mean, it seems more associated with the narrative that I'm discussing, talking about, uh, or at least, you know, it's when the more impressive lightning has happened, so. We'll go for a little longer. Uh, I said in the past, usually like near the end of videos or whatever is when some of the most spectacular lightning seems to happen. So, uh, or there's that was a consistent theme for a bit, but. Like I was talking about Cabal earlier, it's like, um, I do this fitness thing here in Houston called Sphere, and it's like soccer fitness, and it was started by Mike Chabala, who's a former Dynamo player. Uh, I was just looking through Instagram earlier, and I, I saw, uh, him posting up some stuff, but, like, one of the thoughts that I've had, I was thinking about Cabala, and I was like... I, I thought of that concept. I was like, that sounds a lot like Chabala. Right? Is, it, is his name is it Mike? Are you Mike Kabbalah? <laughs> and, uh. What's interesting is in Kabbalah, like the tree of life is a concept, and there's these things called spherot, which are like these, you know, if you. Put, draw, draw this tree of life and on it there are spherot 
or Sphere. There's Sephiroth, Sephiroth or Sephiroth, I guess if you're a Final Fantasy VII uh, lover, that's where his name comes from. But, uh, it's like, there's Sphiroth, there's Spheres, right? So I just think it's funny that Mike Chabala, who I guess for all intents and purposes in this thing that I'm saying, this bit or whatever, is like Mike Kabbalah, and he runs Sphero, right? Just something I thought was interesting. Is that more of that Disney magic? <laughs> uh, By the way, the name Michael means who is like L. Mika L. Who is like L is the response to that. In someone's case, Kabbalah is that someone's response. <laughs> what I actually think that is is uh, you're like, you know, who is this character in Revelation 12 or who is this character in Daniel 10 and 12? Revelation 12, Daniel 12, uh, but also in Daniel 10. Uh, Michael is the prince, and, uh, you know, I suppose the other guy is people call Gabriel, but anyway, um, Michael is the one mentioned in the book of Revelation, and it's, you know, the name is a question. Who is like El? Uh, and El is the Hebrew word for God, the deity. And in Zechariah, maybe Zechariah 12, but it's, it's one of the latter chapters. Um, it's, there's specifically this part where it's talking about, like, the one who is about to fall will be like David on that day. And the house of David will be like God, like the angel of Yahweh. And it's like, okay, well, maybe uh, this character from the book of Revelation is uh, the one, like, someone who's on, like, I guess the throne of the house of David. And, like, I think that would be probably what I'm guessing is maybe that is partially the throne. It's like the throne of Yahweh is what Jesus is talking about, but he's also talking about this throne, and the one sitting on this throne will be like El, right? And that could be what this character of Michael is, so it could be that too, just thought. Or, you know, for Muslims, like Al, you know, as in uh, the Al from Allah, because I don't think Allah actually comes from al Ilah. I think it just is taken from El or El Alef Lamed He, and then that turns into Allah. I mean, even when you go into Strong's Concordance, there's a word that is literally spelled out in English, like it's transliterated, A-L-L-A-H, and it is a tree in oak, a terebinth, because that's, you know, like a mighty, like a strong thing, right? Uh, and an L is like a strong thing, supposedly. So... But, again, with Allah, it's like, El is just a generic title. Any god, the, in, in Hebrew, any deity from anywhere is an El. They're the El, you know, and, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess to Muslims, El is, is the El. So, an El meaning deity or god, like, who is the god, who is the deity? And like to Muslims, the deity or the God, and it's like, well, to Christians and Jews, 
Yahweh. And to Christians, Jesus is Yahweh, uh, manifest in the flesh. And then to Christians who are paying attention, in Revelation, it says, you know, to someone who conquers at the seven churches, I'll grant you to sit on this throne. And so I think that's, yo, me, yeah, yo, duh, yo, duh, yo, duh. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, name a deity from some religion and it it's referred to as El or Ella. In fact, Ella might even be feminine. Like, a lot is feminine. You don't want to get into, like, in, uh, you know, there's a whole thing in the Islamic tradition where, <laughs> with, with, uh, um, Muhammad, like, praying to a lot and, like, other, what would generally be considered pagan or polytheistic deities because, you know, the origins of Islam are actually polytheistic and pagan, and, you know, that's why they wheel, like, NASCAR seven times around this, uh, hypercube, and there's a black stone that they kiss, and it forgives their sins, just like the white stone that is Jesus that forgives your sins. You see why this is, like, uh, a thing that's, like, you know, it's literally just built as a fan fiction to try to steal away the belief of people, and then use that belief. I think, I think it's a group of witches, or, like, some deity from some other place doing it, but... And that's just me using my brain. Um, and I think whoever's manipulating that whole situation is counting on Muslims not using their brain. So, <laughs> and just being irrationally incensed at people making sense around this topic. So, you know, if you're Muslim, there is one L or Al, and it's Yo, it's Yah, right? Yahweh. Yao. So the answer to, um, like, who is El? Yah. That's why Elijah, the prophet. Yah, the prophet, Elijah. Or, you know, name, whatever biblical character, the name, you know, it's like Elijah or uh, Joel is, Yah is El. So there you go. So again, El just means deity. It's a generic title. So Allah is just a generic title for a deity. It's not an actual name. It's just a generic title. Can you get it? It's like, can some entity create a Mecca, I think? That's the whole idea, I think. Is can some entity create a Mecca and steal that away from, like, a giant, you know, Japanese fighting robot Mecca to, like, fight the Christ body? and, like, steal away, like, it's like a robot trying to fight the Christ body, and it's, like, trying to steal away belief, and, you know, I think Yahweh is just like, well, people have free will, they'll believe, like, even the elect can be fooled if they are allowed, you know, whatever, so, uh, but, you know, if seemingly what he's offering is a reward for being awake during the time, and, like, going through it and dealing with the difficulties is, like, well, oh, seems like he's offering infinity, you know, I'll take it. I'll take, uh, <laughs> I'll take being Jesus or Yah on the throne. That would be it's cool, to, cool with me. Even just here in America, it's like, I think there are people who are using whatever to steal, steal away reality. And, like, America seems to be behind on this or something. I, yeah, I don't, I, I can't see through everything because it looks like there's a bunch of magic here even being used to, like, or something is being used to try to obfuscate the truth around me, just maybe staying in silence, even though it's like the Truman Show. And it's like, okay, well, I think Yahweh makes this a problem for everybody. And, like, your options are, if you follow Yahweh, it's like, kingdom of heaven. And when I say kingdom of heaven, there's a singularity in the future where a being with infinite power has ended death, has ended, of like, you know, all the problems and ills of mankind. And we go into that singularity, and it's just one timeline where there's not all these divergent paths where people are, where it's like a, a, at the system level, there's chaos and like it's a bunch of states or non-governmental actors or whatever fighting for power. It is just Yahweh has power. Yahweh is power. Yahweh is, right? 
and anything else that's trying to challenge Yahweh will not be, right? And so... <sighs> it seems to me like the best choice, just the most reasonable one, is the party where you don't die and, like, all your desire... Like, everything that you could want is fulfilled and it's like does it sound like a terrible like is what i'm describing does it sound terrible because it sounds great to me and it sounds like you know it sounds better than the alternative it's like when you die that's not the end of things it's like in fact hell itself gets tossed into like a worse place in revelation so I definitely don't want to go there, so how about that never-ending party? And it's not in the sky, it's just here, and all the things, you know, when they're talking about, oh, we're gonna be this level of civilization, and it's like, no, there's just, we're already past that. You're like, you're saying, oh, we're a type 1 civilization, type 2, type 3, and it's like, no, Yahweh is just existent, and at, at this point in the singularity, it's just like, we are a type infinity civilization you get it at that point and just like that and anything that was causing problems or blocking that or like adversarial to that that the word in hebrew means is, is satan so anything satanic against that is like dealt with harshly anything supporting that is blessed infinitely since there's infinite resources infinite everything it's like <laughs> why why couldn't you do that so I mean, it's just obvious to me but <sighs> I use this and a lot of people don't I think so, and I use this too because you want there to be <laughs> uh, You want it to come from a place of kindness, too. It's just difficult at times, but... Uh, or it can be. Look, I've been talking, and... There hasn't been any lightning for, like... 20 minutes, I think. Something about that. So, I'm thinking I'm just gonna end this at... Like, wrap this up at an hour and 30 minutes which means I should go get the GoPro and bring it back up and... Is that, a, is that a flash? Oh, I'm not gonna stay around just cause that little flash. Um, because I'd like to make this and it'll be an hour and 30 minutes, but like really only an hour worth of uh, time stamping. And then, you know, I'm working on the compilation. Hopefully I'll get it together and it'll just be so obvious. You know, we're at the lightning lab number five, but I don't know, how, like, you know, how many storms I've already seen that, like, 30 storms, 20 something storms this, this year, and I didn't even catch, like, the one with the tornado earlier, like, there's just, I've missed a few, and, like, just because, whatever reason, I was working on music stuff or whatever, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna go get the GoPro, so, I'll be right back, okay?
surprise, surprise, the GoPro overheated again. I didn't think, that, you know, I figured if there was gonna be rain, the rain pulled it, right? But there wasn't rain. I mean, not to the degree that was needed to keep it cool. And I mean, it's not, it's 74 degrees outside. And so, um, you know, in that, in that scorching heat, the GoPro overheats. <sighs> GoPro, you have to work on those thermals. This is, I, I, it can't be every time. I shouldn't have to use a desk fan to cool off the GoPro. It should just be like, the thermal should be managed better. You know, like in the GoPro 9 and before, but since GoPro 9, so 10 and 11, the thermals have been terrible and it's the new processor is just like it's too it runs too hot and like i don't need more resolution i need it to last you know in wherever and not die so can can we do that gopro that'd be great okay in rant slash rant okay so that's going to be the end of this video uh hopefully i mean i hope the gopro was on when when the cool lightning was happening I mean, do, like, do you see why this would be frustrating, GoPro? Anyway, all right. I'm going to end this here. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed. You know, uh, Alessandra Ambrosio, get at me, as I usually say, unless you're Jezebel, and then I guess I guess it makes sense. I just don't want that to be the case, but okay, I mean, I... Uh, Kim Castro, get at me. Hey, yo, uh, I mean, you can clearly see the lightning stuff. Might be reasonable to just at least say, yo, hi, Matt, you exist. You didn't deserve, you know, whatever, uh, Stephanie Justin and whatever people have done to you. Or maybe you're just joining it and whatever, so I don't know. But, all right, I hope you guys have a blessed one and, uh, that's been Lightning Lab number 005. Later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well. <sighs> okay. I hope you enjoyed that for the sake of like keeping these short i'm gonna just try to end it pretty quickly here but i hope you enjoyed that i think there were some probably some good examples of like lightning that if the gopro was on it caught it i believe if the gopro wasn't on the iphone camera doesn't catch everything which is a problem that's why the, having the gopro is nice that's why i don't want it to overheat that's why gopro i mean you have to fix this problem if you release the gopro 12 and it just overheats I think people will just never buy it. Like, I, that, that would legitimately, like, it's like, you don't listen to people on what they want. You just make a product and you're like, oh, we're not going to listen to the people who actually buy the product. So maybe we'll see what happens. We'll see if there's, if it caught it. Please, I hope it caught it because that will be so frustrating. Do you get why that would be frustrating, GoPro? Anyway. Okay, well. Hope you guys have enjoyed, um, you know, whatever people that I've named that, you know, you could get at me and say like, hey, whatever, this is either happening or it's not. I mean, at some point, you don't think something's going to force it. Again, if Yahweh forces it, he's just going to, he will force it, right? I'm, I'm just cooperating with Yahweh. But, like, I think at some point, Yahweh forces it. I'm like, I don't need to force it, but my Heavenly Father, Yah, will. And I guess if I'm on the throne of my Heavenly Father, well, that would make sense as to why it's happening. So, Yah. <laughs> uh, or on the throne of Jesus. Jesus is Yah. So, Jesus is Yo? Yeah? Okay, anyway, have a blessed one. I'm out of here. Later. Yeah.